let's, let's see, let's see. Right. Renan Jones, a 29-year-old who lives in Philadelphia, started haircuts and the homeless about one year ago. After he said the mission came from me heart. I can't read very well. I've lost my glasses. Me personally, I think I surpassed the thousand haircuts. So many, I stopped counting. So it's been a good year so far, Jones told Fox 5 Philly, and my accent is becoming more southern every day. Mm. Right. A homeless man who wanted to find shelter for himself and his dog was very lucky to meet a very nice landlord who decided to give the man a home for a few weeks. In return, the man had to clean himself up and start to eat some veggies and not just junk. Wonder if he's taking his garlic, keeping himself well, you know, with the colds and everything is out there. It's cold, it's cold. Anyway, this worked out, and they are no now good friends. Come on, Baba Berta, you're reading properly. This worked out, and they are now good friends. This is the happy news from Baba Berta. The granddaughter made me do it. So you send your happy news to Lauren with an E. And moving on TV.uk. Okay, she made me do this. I'm gonna read another one. A five-year-old little girl decided she wanted to do something nice for people this winter. Not like my grandchildren. All they want is their laptops and their Googles and their gaggles and God knows what else. Anyway, she took all her dolls and she gave them out to all the poor children of her town. Ooh. <laughs> She said, I felt happy sharing my dolls with all the other little girls and make new friends too. Well, there you go. If you've got lots of dolls, go give them to all your friends and you're going to make a lot of new friends, apparently. Right. Oh, and there's one more here. Oh, we did that one already, Baba. We did that one already. Anyway, Molly the ginger tabby wandered off from her home and ended up in someone else's shed. Oh. The kind neighbours who cared so much all went out and tried to find her all through the night. They were calling Molly. Meowing and purr. Stupid idiots. What they were yowing and purring for? For a cat. Eventually she answered them and they were able to rescue her. So there you go. So that's the happy news. I hope you have a very happy day. And I hope you take your garlic and throw your salt over this shoulder and not that shoulder and whatever. Hopefully Bobba Frankie will be with me the next time and it's going to be a lot funnier when we got Bobba Frankie there. So have a beautiful day and um, she told me to say Namaste. I don't know what it means but Namaste to all of you and have a great day. This is Bobba Berta signing off from the Happy News and you can always send more to Lauren, L-A-U-R-E-N-E. -E. She gives herself this E. She was born as Lauren, but she gives herself an E. No one knows why because we never gave her that name. But she calls herself Lauren, not Lorene, Lauren with an E at movingontv.uk. So that's the Happy News for today and I hope I haven't annoyed you or whatever if I've annoyed you. It's time you came on here and started doing your own Happy News. Where is she? Goodbye. Hello, my name is Martin Oswald of Martin Oswald Hypnotherapy. I specialize in smoking cessation, weight loss, phobia release, stress management, and hypnobirthing. I can do a free assessment via the phone, via Skype, or face-to-face -face at any time. So that's Martin Oswald of Martin Oswald Hypnotherapy. Looking forward to your call now. You can also find me on my Facebook page, which is Martin Oswell Hypnotherapy.